I'd like to introduce you to three sheep. They are Sean, Woolly and Fluffy. What a commotion there was out on the Bethlehem hillside that night. Bright lights, heavenly singing and that amazing message. God's special rescuer had come. Everyone in those days knew that the Messiah was coming one day. These local shepherds realised straight away that this message was important. History was coming to a huge turning point. This really was a special moment and they, mere shepherds, were the first to know about it. They would be first with the news. What a scoop! Can you imagine their excitement, amazement and joy? God had chosen to speak to them. So off the shepherds went to Bethlehem. It must have been important. Fancy leaving their livelihood behind. Unheard of. And I wonder what the sheep thought of all this. Let's use our imagination. They look pretty puzzled, don't they? Well, they're certainly upset at losing their shepherds. Who will feed them and protect them? What should they do? There was no question about it. They would have to follow. A very predictable thing for sheep to do. So off they went, down the hillside, running, dancing, tumbling. In fact, it was so steep that they all fell, almost flew down the slope. Well, where next? Where should they look for their shepherds? They hadn't really understood the angel's message, except that they had gathered that someone special was in town somewhere. So, if they found that someone, then they were sure to find their masters, wouldn't they? The sheep wandered about for a while, looking like, uh, lost sheep. They couldn't find them anywhere. And then Woolly said she was hungry and wanted to find somewhere to eat. So they began sniffing around for some animal food. They left the main streets and went down the back alleys instead. All of a sudden, an old cattle shed caught their eye. It looked run down, but some lights were on and people were talking. They drew close and peeked in at the door. And guess what? There were their shepherds. The shepherds saw the sheep and smiled. The sheep saw a manger and thought, Oh, goody, food. But wait, there wasn't food in it. There was... Well, there's a bit more to this story, but you'll have to wait to hear the end. The sheep were quite tired by this time and a little chilly. They could do with a woolly jumper.